Hi, this is Melissa with another episode of Be Inspired. Thank you for coming back for another one. And I just really want to appreciate you for checking in with me and listening into my show and seeing this journey unfold for itself and see where things, I guess, fall and lie and belong and where things show up in my life and how I show up and and how you can show up in your own life too. Oh my goodness. So in today's episode, um, you know, I'm going to talk a little bit about sometimes letting things go that are, you know, that, you know, sometimes we have attachment to things. So I'm going to give you an example. Like, okay, this is my mug. Mm. This is my mug. This is actually my Canyon High School class of 1996 mug. I think my name's on it, like somewhere over here or something like that on this mug, if I zoomed in enough. But this is my mug. Don't touch it. See, I think that there, sometimes there's a lot of things that happen where we have our attachments to things and some responsibility with some things and, and other things. But the more that, you know, the things we own, they own us in a sense. Um, so, what was really, really, um, you know, not like me the other day, but, you know, I, I'm getting better. <laughs> but I've noticed I've been, I've been really good about this. But a friend of mine, I was helping her out with, in, in my kitchen, and she was wanting to source some stuff. And I said, great. She was helping some things out. And um, I was like, here, you know, let me help you out with my dolly and my bag and stuff. And usually, sometimes I'm really picky about things. I'm like, let me take that dolly back. Let me take my bag back. This time, you know, I was okay with it. I was just like, eh, whatever. Go ahead and uh, here, you can use my bag, use the dolly, whatever. But then it came down today when I got dropped off. I was like, can I have my bag back? And it's uh, kind of important because I actually use that bag a lot when I go grocery shopping. So um, at least, you know, there was a part of me, even though sometimes, like I said, you want to be giving and, and sharing. But there's also part of me, too, where I know, like, okay, that I need it for a reason. Let me have it back. And sometimes, you know, when no matter what it is, you could be, uh, I don't know, you just have an attachment to something. You know, you know, sometimes it's better to just kind of let it go and see what happens sometimes. And um, whether they're things, people, situations, you know, and the right things that are for meant for you are going to come back to you and, and be part of you. And there's some things where, like, you can just, let it go and not worry about it and just be like, well, okay, it's helping somebody else out. They're getting some use out of this object. And that's probably the best thing, too, is to let people really, 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 you know, take use of something that, you know, it's not going to get used. Um, you know, it's helpful for somebody. So if you, sharing is caring. So if you want to get out there and, you know, if you got, if you know somebody out there who needs some help with something, uh, you know, offer some help or offer maybe there's something that you can lend them or something in their uh, journey that can help uh, help them along with where they're at and, uh, you know, it's something that you might not need necessarily so that you're able to help somebody else. And I don't know, it was kind of, for me, sometimes I, I just said, yeah, just go ahead and take it. You know, well, whatever. Like I said, that's usually, uh, it's kind of been like, I don't know, maybe kind of growing into that. Usually I'm, I'm always kind of like, no, 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 wait a little bit or, or say I need to have that right back right away just so I can maintain that I don't lose something or it, it slips away from me. And it's not like, oh, I need it back right now. Um, but sometimes maybe it gets like that. But, um, but no, I was pretty like nonchalant about it. And I felt like, oh, it's cool. You know, no worries. It's all good. It's all good. It's all handled. Things are going to be, things are going to be okay. So I guess in this episode, I just really want to tell you, you know, even sometimes if we feel attached to something so much, you know, release it a little bit, release things, let them go a little bit, let them, let them, um, what's the word? Let them, let them go and see how they unfold and see how they grow. You know, it was interesting too today. I was at, <laughs> I, I was at uh, church today. This is my second video I'm shooting today, by the way, if you haven't noticed, but, um, I was at church today, and I was talking to this guy, and um, he was presenting Reverend Michael with like an award today or some type of ceremonial item. I forgot what it was, 
because I've been running around like crazy. Um, but he was presenting Michael with something, and I was talking to him afterwards. It's like, oh, where are you from? What's your name? And his name and where he was from was very like odd. Um, his name was not a normal, like not. A, I would say not that a name that you hear every day. And also, it was a name to, uh, where he lived was somewhere else where somebody with that same name I know who lives. So I was like, hmm, is uh, this other person thinking about me possibly? Because, you know, or is it just spirit just saying, ha, 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 you know, or am I just trying to make connections out of something that aren't there? But it was kind of funny today having the experience of meeting somebody else who had the same name and who lived in the same area of Los Angeles. I don't want to mention the name on here, um, but... I just thought that was kind of funny to me today. I was like, wow, I wonder, you know, I haven't heard from this person. I've talked about them recently in my past videos if you've been keeping up. But I haven't heard it from them in a while after I after I just kind of like said what I felt. And they kind of, I guess, maybe got scared, maybe got something. I was like, I'm not going to deal with this anymore. It's just, if it's meant to be, it'll be. It'll be. If not, then I'm not going to waste any more energy or more time thinking about something that, you know, I have to put out a lot of effort to, in order for it to happen. And, you know, things happen smoothly and easily when they're meant to be and the right way. So, ah, my goodness. Um, like I said, spirit is so interesting how it works. It's like when you, you know, you're ready for the lessons at the time that you're ready for them. Um, you're open, you're available, you're ready, you're ready to conquer things and to just take on the great challenges that you, you know, set yourself forth to. So I just want to leave you with that. And no matter what you're going through in your life right now, you know, if it's something where you're holding too strongly to, or, you know, you need to stand up for yourself and value yourself more and your time more um, and, you know, state your case, do that as well, because you are a worthy individual out there. Um, you work hard or you, you work smart and you get things done no matter who you are out there. So just remember, like when it comes to things, you know, releasing things, but yet also remaining your value and your worth and showing up, your uh, showing up as your perfect whole complete self and being, and then you're going to emanate amazing, amazing frequency and vibes to surround others around you who are in the similar like vibration. So I don't even know if I made sense because I've been so tired lately. Honestly, I want to just lay down and go to sleep some more, but I got another full workload ahead of me. Oh my God. Oh, it's exciting. It's exhilarating. It's tiring, but I got to prove myself and I'm going to kick ass. So anyways, this is my episode of Be Inspired. This one was a little all over the place, jabbery, jabbery a little bit. But I just wanted to get out here and get my other video done because I still haven't missed a video yet. I got one in late. Still counts. Got it late. But I have not missed a video yet. And I don't plan to yet. So um, we'll see how things go. Got to keep getting my endurance out there. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. Anyways, have a good one. Bye-bye.